Hello, hello! This is the first episode of my playthrough for The Division 2. Um, I've never really played for a Division game before, so it'll be quite interesting to see what happens. Um, let's get into it. Follow Agent Saunders. Saunders? Sanders. I would not stand that close when there's bombs going off there. I hate the fact that control is the, the way you jump over the things. Really want a sniper. Put your head out, please. Thank you. Like, there you go. Let's stand next to you. Ow, you went down fast. Okay, run low. Just do this. Don't shoot me too much. Don't shoot me too much. Yeah. Oh, cutscene. Got it. Someone check the perimeter. See to those barricades, and have someone radio the patrols to be on the lookout for stragglers. Some of those bastards got away. I didn't expect another attack so soon. You okay? If this keeps up, we're gonna have to relocate. Come on, help me with this. We're stretched too thin to protect everyone here. Not again. Get to the waterfront! That can't be right. a distress code. The coordinates for Washington, D.C. How is this possible? Get down! Everybody get down! Someone has to stay. We can't just leave these people here. Whatever happened, it needs to be fixed or it's all over. You go! I'll do what I can here. Go! We took things for granted. We expected coffee in the morning. We expected free Wi-Fi. When those were taken from us, we survived. When communications broke down, the trains stopped and the internet went dark, we survived. But when the pharmacies were looted and hospitals shut down, asthma became lethal. And with no police to protect you, did you own a gun? Did your neighbor? Some survived. We are a resilient species. When our society collapsed, we found ways to go on. And now, for the first time in centuries, what we want is also truly what we need. In the face of disaster, we, we helped, helped each other. other. We built new communities in the ruins of the old. We adapted. We survived. Established a new normal. But there are also those who build nothing. Create nothing. Hyenas. Hyenas. 
preying on the weak. They've made our world bleed. But we don't stand alone. A brave few have sworn to protect us and save what remains. They, they unite, unite us. us. Remind us that we are one people. They are our shield and our light. But if that light goes out... Who can save us then? It's been seven months since the outbreak. We still live in fear of the virus, the green poison. But the real danger is out there, waiting. So that was a lot of cutscenes. I had super Westworld vibes from from the music and the the second set of cutscenes there, but that was a that was a lot. Don't run from me, Mr. Deer. I want to be your friend. Come back. I like how the deer's running towards the explosions and gunfire. You'd assume it would go the the other way, but no. Oh, it's not. It's not your turn. I love the voice lines. I've seen a few videos of some of the voice lines these bad guys come out with. It's quite amusing. Ooh. Yep. Don't mind if I do. Mark this for junk. V. There you go. So if you mark things for junk, apparently you can just deconstruct it all at once, which is quite nice. Okay, that guy didn't see us is a bit surprising. If you can hear us on this frequency, keep pushing forward and blindside these bastards. I get the feeling there's going to be lots of people to kill up here. I like the green smoke. 
Is the green smoke bad? Am I gonna die? That's what you do, you run into the green smoke. No, okay, that's good. Well, that seems to have pissed most of them. Shoot you in the face. Shoot you in the face. There's a lot of bad guys here. It's quite nice that they're so easy to kill. It seems if you do hit them in the head that they're go down quite fast. Got you! Ooh, you dropped loot! Yay! Let's hope it's a gun. Oh no, it's just bullets. Thank you! More green smoke. Oh? What fire extinguisher were they using? I want one of those magic fire extinguishers. Firemen would be redundant if everybody had one of those. Just instant fire patrolter. <laughs> Just casually waltz into the into the White House. Just nonchalant. Let's see what happens through the door. This is you. Welcome to DC. I'm Manny. I run comms. I'm guessing the Division Alert brought you here? Damn glad to see you. Let me show you exactly how screwed we are. Ever since the JTF imploded, the city's become a playground for murderous fuckheads. There are several main factions and a whole lot of bottom feeders sucking up whatever the big dogs miss. A few civilian settlements are still holding out against all this villainy. They need more help than we've been able to provide, especially since the Division network went dark. Um, that's Kelso. She's one of the last surviving agents in DC. She's operating at the theater settlement on a priority mission. You should go check in with her. If anyone knows how to get these systems back online, it's her. Oh, and um, introduce yourself to the locals while you're at it. It'll comfort them to know there's a new sheriff in town. By the way, Agent, head downstairs and check in with a quartermaster. He can get you set up with some division tech. Ooh. You're gonna need the edge. I've seen some of the stuff about this. And I think I know what I'm gonna go for. Because I suck, I'm gonna go for the thing that apparently can make it so you get instantly revived when you go down. Which seems like the smart thing to do. So supposedly there's a variation of this that revives you. Um, strikes target, the reviver, there you go. So I think I will be going for this. Oh, perks. Nice. Okay, let's go to wherever it tells us to. Oh. Okie dokie. So we next out of the map. And I just follow the neighborhoods you'll be moving the floating to line. are hyena territory. They're a bunch of vicious assholes who prey on the weak and vulnerable and kill for kicks. And they destroy whatever they can't steal for themselves. 
but they've been an especially serious problem for the theater settlement. Given their situation, we need the help of the settlements. But they can't do much if they're struggling to survive. So see what you can do to take some pressure off them. But don't forget that we have to get the Shade Network back to full strength. In a lot of places, the Division has been the only thing holding people together. But with DC as the priority, most agents are completely cut off. They're not gonna last long without support. Ooh. Let's hope that they don't take the hyena arseholes uh, running around too literally. With the buttholes running around the place. <laughs> Yay, loot! Go get it! Please be a gun! Hey, it's a gun! Uh, there you go. Anything else? Oh, I can. Yep, mark that for trash. And what's this? Field proficiency cache. I'll happily open one of these up. Yep. Backpack and a pistol. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Nope, I don't want to do that. I want to wear that. And then I want to mark that for junk. That makes sense. And a new backpack. Oh. Skill, power, health, weapon damage. Weapon damage would be nice if I got the free set for it. Mark you as trash. And there we go. Now to keep running. You look very dead, sir. Portable device detected. Ooh. I think the green dude's a good, good dude. If I just keep running, does that mean that they won't try and kill me? Apparently not. Run! I should probably reload before I start shooting at them. And that's why you have the high thing, because when you suck, you don't have to worry. <laughs> Let's see if any of them are any good. Oh wow, I got a few guns. Um, let's go with this one. And then that can be marked for trash, and that can be marked for trash. And that also can be marked for trash. There you go. Anything else? Nope. Nope, I'm not going to help you. <laughs> I'm fairly sure there's a way you can turn those off, but I have no clue how. It's a long road run. You'd think that they have like a pedal bike or something. Well, the cars might not work, but I'm sure you can still pedal on a bike. Oh. I wasn't expecting this to be a rifle. Got him. And 
he's dead. No other loop. But I think I've got a mask there. That's about that. And mark you for trash. Coming up in the theater settlement, the woman who runs it is named Odessa Sawyer. Try to stay on her good side. It's a heavily guarded theater. Doesn't look a lot like the theater, but I suppose. Yep, definitely doesn't look like a theatre. Looks like a rooftop to me. The rooftop settlement. You should have a like a line cross to theatre and say rooftop. I think you wanna check this out. Will I? Where do I go? Oh, twenty seven meters. This way. If you're looking for Agent Kelso, she just left. I should have gone with her. But I'd only slow her down. I know you got your own problems to deal with. But them hyena motherfuckers took my little girl. They get to me. If you can help, I'll be on your debt. And I'll always pay my debts. Oh, new mission. Grand Washington Hotel. Does it do anything? Kelsey. Rendezvous with Agent Kelso and stage a daring assault to rescue Eleanor Sawyer from the hyenas. So go and rescue Grumpy's daughter. Okay, well, I am going to end it here. This is going to be the end of the first episode. Uh, if you like what you've been watching, feel free to hit the like button and feel free to subscribe. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!